So let's spend some time thinking about that definition of validity and how it's going to help us. That definition is going to help us determine whether an argument is valid or not. And to do this, let us consider <clears throat> following argument. V1, all men are mortal. V2, Socrates is a man. Therefore, V3, Socrates is mortal. It's been our our standard bearer. This is our perfect example of a valid deductive argument, right? That one we said is valid. Now let's contrast that with this one. All men are mortal. Socrates is mortal, therefore Socrates is is a man. Now take my word for this, and, and in fact, I, I kind of gave, gave you hints because I call it in the first argument, I said the first premise was V1, and the second one it's I1, V being for valid, I being for invalid. The second one is not valid. It's invalid. And now how do you determine that? How do you figure it out in general? And I think if you'll remember what that definition of validity told us, you're going to be able to do it. Here's, and the definition of validity said, you know, it's impossible, for Arian's valid, it's impossible for those premises to be true and the conclusion false. So if you want to test an argument for whether it's valid or not, you try to see if it's not valid, and if it isn't, it is. So ask yourself, is it possible for the premises to be true and the conclusion false. Now, if it is possible, then the argument is not valid. And it tells us a little bit more because remember, it, when we're asking, is it possible for the premises to be true and the conclusion false, we're asking, is it a contradiction. So notice what we've said so far. We've said if we're going to test that argument for validity, we're going to try to prove that this one, the second argument, is invalid. And it amounts to saying, can you think of a possible situation where all of those premises are true and the conclusion false? Can you think of a possible situation where all men are mortal, Socrates is mortal, but Socrates is not a man. And the important thing is, can you describe that, because remember we're saying, can you describe that situation without contradicting yourself? That is, can you describe a situation in which all men are mortal, Socrates is mortal, but Socrates is a man? Well, think about it. Can you guys describe a, such a situation without contradicting yourself? Well, I think there's a way to do it. I think, yes, you can. We can certainly, it's certainly possible that Socrates was born a female, right? Socrates might have been a female, not a Greek male, but a Greek female. Well, imagine that that's the case, and we're not contradicting ourselves in assuming and thinking about Socrates being a female, but here we can describe a case where all men are mortal, right? The world's just the way it is. Socrates is, a, is mortal because Socrates is a she, but Socrates is not a man, right? She's a woman. So I can describe a situation without contradicting myself in which those premises are true and the conclusions false. So in this case, it's not impossible for the premises to be true and the conclusion false. So that's how that, that definition of validity is going to take us and show us and help us determine whether certain arguments are valid 
or not, whether there's a good connection between those premises and the conclusion. Now let's turn to see if the same thing holds true with our valid example. 